today I am going to start on prepping the area for the Airstream. So we have to uh, cut down some branches that are a little low for the Airstream, cut back some bush, and then I'm gonna flag out the area where the excavator is gonna come in and level and put down some shale, and we'll probably put some kind of a retaining wall. So that's my little project today before I head back to Vancouver. And um, I'll uh, film it a little bit so you could uh, follow along. It's not that exciting really, but anyway, part of the story. So I'm just going to show you what I've been working on all morning. Uh, it was a lot of just uh, kind of figuring things out. It's kind of my philosophy. So I'll take you up to where we're going to put the Airstream and walk you through it. So it's the cabin and this morning it was clearing out all these bushes and low, bran low tree uh, branches. The wood stakes are showing where the Airstream is going to be. Had to clear a little bit behind because we're going to run drainage and septic. That's what my little bark trail is leading to a septic tank that's going to go down there somewhere and then I flagged out the perimeter because the excavator is going to come in hopefully early next week and peel up all the grass put down shale and level it off so we can safely drive our airstream in here's the big pile that I created today um, and then I had to think about two things one how am I going to get the airstream in here uh, I thought I'd just drive it down this road and then I would go up here and then back it in. But I don't think I'm going to have enough turning radius here. It's 53 feet. So I've got a tape measure out and I will be screwed. So I had to think about a new plan. So what I have decided, you can see I've mapped out some more clearing here with flags. So clear all this debris away, get rid of all this uh, greenery here. And then I'm basically going to, I'm just going to drive right down here and I'm going to go up here and I measured 53 feet up there to make sure I can get my axles right by this tree and then I should be able to drive it straight down and back it in. You can see all my flags. It's going to be beautiful. Morning everybody, just out for a little stroll, kind of uh, thinking about the day ahead, trying to make the most of it. Uh, I got limited time here to get things set up for when dawn comes over. And I kind of feel like it's part of my role in our relationship, we kind of divide and conquer. And, and uh, right now I just feel I want to make it really nice for when she comes over here in a couple of weeks with our two dogs in the Airstream. And, uh, you know, make sure we have uh, places to cook and firewood and power and washrooms <laughs> and places to sleep and all that kind of stuff. So it's pretty rough here right now. So today I'm going to do uh, a bunch of things. So I got to do some work for Switch. 
and I've got a couple of meetings, one with an organic gardener who's going to come by and see if he can help us this summer, produce some great food, and uh, guy's coming over for the septic field, doing some soil testing so we can plan that out and get it, get it going. Uh, I'm going to hopefully get my plan together for building the deck for the tent. And I got to get some tools out, like the miter saw set up. Anyways, I'll keep you posted throughout the day. Okay, next project is to start prepping for the, the deck that we're going to build for the tent. So I did a little sketch. Just got to think it through. Uh, I need basically a 24 by 36 foot pad. And so I calculate all the lumber that I would need. And again, I've never done this before. So um, we'll see if I got the right amounts. And I'm going to move some tools up there and we're going to get all set up. And tomorrow we're going to start building. So, again, you don't have to know how to do everything. Uh, I looked, watched YouTube videos, um, read some books and magazines, and I'm going to just see how I can do all on my own. That's a wrap for me today. Accomplished a lot. I uh, set up the miter saw, uh, figured out how to use the nail gun because I'm going to be building the deck over the next couple of days. We had arrangements for the tractor delivery tomorrow, which is going to be really exciting. So of course I'll capture that. Um, propane guy came out. We're having three tanks delivered on Sunday, which will provide uh, heat for the shower area, um, fuel for the uh, airstream, and then fuel for our outdoor cooking station and um, I scoped out a perfect location for the tractor equipment, at least temporarily. I had to clear some low branches and some trees because I just got a big uh, flatbed truck that's coming here tomorrow and it was pretty narrow in spots. I filled up the bird feeders and they are really happy. And um, I'm going to hit the shower now. It's been kind of a wet, rainy day. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to that. And then get into some dry clothes and cook some dinner. Something simple, one pot wonder. And yes, Dawn, I wrapped the tripod legs in saran wrap. Okay, I've had my shower. I'm in dry clothes. Not necessarily clean, but dry. And now I'm going to cook a quick dinner, so I'm going to walk you through it. I know it's dark, but it's dark here, so uh, you're going to have to watch it like this. Okay, here's our outdoor kitchen. Got our stove. I've got a big cast iron skillet that I've been seasoning. It's starting to smoke. Uh, i got some potatoes, um, heirloom tomato, onions. I'm going to throw some kale in it that I, uh, well, no, Dawn cleaned for me before I came. Some plant-based parm is my absolute favorite. You gotta check this one out on Switch. And then who doesn't have a chainsaw on their kitchen counter? Got some spices here and uh, some balsamic for the tomato. And that's about, oh yeah, and some marinated tofu. 
So what Dawn does, really simple. So she breaks up uh, firm tofu, and then she puts nutritional yeast, salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, sometimes chilies, cracked pepper. Um, just marinates it in a bag, so not cubed. And I'm just gonna make a one pot wonder. You gotta make sure you preheat your pan, which I've done, and then just fry it all up. Morning everybody. I want to show you this little part of our property. It's a lower end, it's just below the garden. So you can see the fencing there, that's the garden up there. But this is um, just a big, beautiful grassy area. It's like two football fields worth, probably, just to kind of give you some context. And so the guy that was here yesterday suggested, and I thought it was a great idea, to, dig out a pond. We have clay soil that's not too deep here and uh, we have three or four little creeks coming through the property and so we're going to divert the water into a little pond which will go right here at the base of the garden and then we can use that as our you know year-long irrigation watering source for the garden. So we'll just install a pump and um, some automated sprinkling systems whatever they're called and I thought it was a great idea. So that's what we're gonna do. I just came across this. I guess sometime in the past, small animal, probably a little deer, just laid to rest. It's the end of their life. Anyway, it just made me think about something that Dawn and I think about all the time, that, you know, in the end, we're all food for worms. <laughs> we. You know, life is finite and we don't know how long we're gonna live and you should live each and every day to its fullest. Are, there are things that you wanna do, see, people you wanna help. Just go do it, figure it out. Almost everything we've ever done in life is uh, been something that we don't really know. We didn't know how to build an online cooking school. We didn't, we were chefs. We, we didn't know how to even, what a business model was how to hire a team, raise money, uh, shoot content, um, you know, build a learning management system. You just hire the right people and you figure it all out. Same thing with uh, a lot of the renovations and stuff that we're going to do around the farm. We're just going to figure it out. YouTube's a great resource. I've already watched a ton of YouTube videos on building decks and, you know, we're going to build this deck for the, the tent. So anyway, just wake up each and every day and pretend it's your last. And if you had 24 hours left, what would you do?